a one-way path to freedom. That's how Boris Johnson likes to describe his roadmap, culminating uh, with a long-awaited Freedom Day on July the 19th. Personally, I'm going to be delighted when we're able to cry freedom, thanks to our vaccine success. I'm booking nightclub tickets. Uh, But a new poll by Ipsos Mori shows a terrifying proportion of Brits think very differently. In the survey carried out for The Economist magazine, the polling company found scary levels of public support for keeping restrictions on our lives in perpetuity. They found that 19% wanted nighttime curfews to continue forever, 26% wanted casinos and clubs closed forever. 35% wanted a quarantine for all those coming into the country forever. And 40% wanted people to wear masks in shops and on transport forever. Well, Matthew Holhouse, who wrote up this story for The Economist, came to a concerning conclusion. He wrote... 50 years ago, half of Europe was under governments that from time to time imposed such measures. They survived in part through repression, but also some consent. Are the British people by character really so different? And it got me thinking that looking at the world in 1940, the whole of Europe from Portugal to Japan was under one form or other of authoritarian government. The whole of that Eurasian landmass under authoritarianism, Britain alone stood free. And I'd thought up until now that there's something intrinsic in the British character that, uh, that pushed away that sort of fa- fascism and communism, that pushed away that sort of authoritarianism. But potentially, now, were we so insula- insulated from that after all? Potentially not. I'm thinking that maybe we came really quite close back then to authoritarianism. Perhaps our mindset is not particularly different. And that uh, that, that entire survey, this idea that a huge proportion of Brits want to curtail our liberties in perpetuity beyond the pan- pandemic, really upsets some of those assumptions about liberty-loving Britain. I don't know, Mercy, well, what do you think about that? <laughs> wow, what could I say about all of that? I mean, I was shocked when I saw these. I just thought, forever? I mean, even mm. after COVID? And some people have been saying, people who have been locked down sceptics, so to say... Um, people have been saying there are people who actually want lockdown to continue forever and that's been batted away. No, of course not. There's nobody who wants lockdown to continue forever. No sane person would want masks to continue forever. These people just want, you know, the the uh, restrictions to continue until a sensible time. But this is saying otherwise, Mm. isn't it? it? This is saying that there are genuinely huge chunks of people who want them to continue. Throughout this pandemic, I've been very critical of people who claim that lockdowns don't work, that somehow uh, moving, that, that somehow reducing social interaction between people doesn't reduce virus spread. Of course it does. It literally does. How does putting one person, isolating them from someone else, not reduce virus spread? It does. The people that say that lockdown don't work are just denying that reality. But equally bonkers, potentially more bonkers, are the people who say that restrictions should continue on our lives in perpetuity. I'm sorry to be frustratingly centrist here, but potentially restrictions were necessary during the pandemic. The idea that that these restrictions should go on beyond the pandemic is terrifying. And we need to be calling out these nutty, uh, uh, anti-liberty, anti-reality people just as heavily as anti-vaxxers are called out. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.